All right, so today's video is basically on a 3D printed number of 247 shoes, the always shoes. I 3D printed this one because I wanted to test out how it works, basically. Um, it's not obviously exact. I have... Uh, not put any threads on the thing including the bottom here uh, it's just glued to a container because I'm going to use that container either to hold smokeless powder or not smokeless powder but smoke powder mix or maybe just a little bit of black powder to make up uh, a marking charge I guess for the thing um, Apart from that, the lid also doesn't have any threads in it, it's just going to be there for holding this in place. I'll tape it down. The insides are going to be made, are made up of the piece that I machined, which is the firing pin. One of the parts I'm not very much of a fan of is this spring here. It's an, a light spring, but not as light as the original, so that's a good uh, failure point right there. Uh, this is the uh, thing that holds a cap, which, as you see, has a shotgun primer in it. It was from an empty one. I flattened out again. I drilled three small holes in it because I decided to use a single point instead of a split point. I've never seen an original one without being fired. I'm assuming they had a hole in the middle because the one I have that's fired had a hole in the middle. But I really can't tell much about that because I've never seen them in one piece. Um, basically, I filled up the cap with some uh, Armstrong's mix. And that's failure point number two is going to be that one there. It's from some old caps. I don't like it, but using actual primary explosive would probably put me into a, a legal area that I don't want to be into. So this is what's going to be. I'm not going to try to put that together for you guys right now because obviously there's a good risk of it going off if I'm not careful. This is just a lead ball, one of those that you could... Uh, get for a black powder firearms. So this one here was actually made in a lead mold for it. Sorry about the uh, focal issues. But this one here, like I said, is just made in a lead mold that I have. And I cut off the extra little bit and sanded it down to make it more round. Um, other issue, this I didn't want to use a bigger piece of bar stock that I would have to remove a lot more on so I just used my uh, half an inch and it's slightly smaller than it should be I think it's 0.6 something that you're supposed to have from the measurement of an original one that I took anyways I printed it all with 20% infill PLA uh, measurements were quickly done just using a picture and the measurements off the one that I had so, anyone who's used Fusion knows how to do that. This, you've seen it before. I've added the weight to it now. And I've got to start making some proper ones, but I want to use this one here because it is expendable, I guess, since it's my own homemade one and it's not with the uh, rope or the ribbon that I want it to be with. Oh, 
doesn't fit quite right when you don't have the uh, after I threw it the lid bent a little bit differently so it goes right down usually anyways it goes right down to the bottom then you tape it on you remove it you hold on to it and throw it in this case like I said I have two failure points and the two failure points are probably going to cause it to fail again and I say again because anyways and this is a lid it's got the curve in it like it's supposed to goes in hot glue and that does the job I've tried it before unfortunately uh, on camera it was a dud then I uh, carefully remove the lid like it is now and I tossed it and it went off so it does work just I'd like it to work on impact the first time which is why I say this and this is my two main failure points I'm sure if I use an actual priming mix from a shotgun primer it would work but it would take a few shotgun primers to make up the amount that's supposed to be in one of these and I do not want to take that risk. <clears throat> the spring is thicker than the originals also. So, it takes more pressure to compress which could cause issues for throwing it with the weights involved. Anyways, I'm going to finish it up and then uh, Give it another try. Hopefully it'll ignite and it'll show it working properly. So stay tuned for that. Alright, so in this video I'm going to test out my uh, fuse here. The uh, container, although it has a little bit of like shitty fuse and some a little tiny bit of block powder in it, it really just has some weight in it. It's a uh, couple of bolts. So I'm just trying to use it for weight. This is a test to see if my actual fuse goes off on it. And hopefully it does. And we'll test it out now. I don't know if it's in focus, but start by doing the tape on it. So I pull the cap off carefully obviously find out the it's not very well and you're supposed to hold on to it like this and then give it a throw and hopefully it comes apart and does what it's supposed to in the air thrown it before last time it was a failure to fire second time not on camera it actually went off so I'm just gonna try to toss it down the road and see if it actually lights hopefully we'll hear a bit of a pop And let's see if this goes well. As you see, that actually worked well. 